Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. First Lady Jill Biden stuns in a new Vogue cover years after Melania Trump was snubbed by the iconic magazine. The former First Lady wore dark colors as she arrived at Trump Tower in New York City on Sunday in anticipation of her log cabin Republicans fundraiser. Melania, 54, wore a navy blue blazer and green pants as she carried a Louis Vuitton handbag. She wore dark sunglasses as she flashed a smile at the doorman before entering the building. Just a few days ago, Melania was nowhere to be found as her husband, Donald Trump, took on President Joe Biden at the first presidential debate of 2024. In a move that broke tradition, Melania was absent from the debate in Atlanta, Georgia on Thursday. Meanwhile, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden was present and rushed to the stage to greet her husband and escort him to the moderator's table after the debate. Jill, 73, also praised the president's performance, despite several polls disagreeing with her. Recently, Jill's cover for the August 2024 edition of Vogue magazine was unveiled, her second one for fashion publication. Snapped by veteran fashion photographer Norman Jean Roy, Jill wore a cream-colored Ralph Lauren silk tuxedo dress with turquoise earrings. Her profile was written by Maya Singer, who shadowed the First Lady during two Minnesota campaign stops in April. We are the first generation in half a century to give our daughters a country with fewer rights than we had, Jill said at a Women for Biden-Harris event in Minneapolis. Book bans. Voting laws gutted. Court decisions that strip away our most basic freedoms. But circumstance is not destiny. When our bodies are on the line, when our daughters' futures are at stake, when our country and its freedom hang in the balance, we are immovable and unstoppable. The profile was written before the debate but Vogue reached out to Jill after her husband's less-than-stellar performance at the debate. She told the magazine that they will not let those 90 minutes define the four years he's been president. We will continue to fight. In 2022, Melania had choice words for Vogue and its editor-in-chief Anna Winter, slamming their decision to feature Jill on the cover the year before. Melania made an appearance on Fox Friends in her first sit-down interview after leaving the White House, accusing Winter of having likes and dislikes. She was asked by co-host Pete Hegseth to share her opinion on previous first ladies who graced Vogue covers. Michelle Obama received three covers during her husband's presidency while Hillary Clinton had one. Yet with your business background and your fashion background and your beauty, never on the cover of Vogue. Why the double standard? Hegseth asked. Melania claimed that Vogue was biased, saying they were so obvious with who they liked and disliked. Former First Lady Melania Trump and Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Winter appear to have a quiet feud that's been brewing for several years. In an appearance on Fox Friends, Melania shared her opinions on other First Ladies receiving Vogue covers during their husbands' presidencies. She claimed that Vogue is biased, adding, they have likes and dislikes, and it's so obvious. I think American people and everyone sees it. Melania continued. It was their decision, and I have much more important things to do, and I did in the White House, than being on the cover of Vogue. Conservative first ladies, Laura Bush, Barbara Bush, and Nancy Reagan were all photographed for Vogue, however, one of them received covers. Melania herself appeared on the cover of Vogue in 2005, however, she wasn't first lady at the time. She appeared on the cover after her wedding to Trump, wearing her wedding dress. Trump supporters have noticed a lack of involvement by Melania her husband's 2024 presidential campaign. She missed several key events, including the campaign kickoff in Iowa and Trump's Super Tuesday victory celebration. Melania was also noticeably absent during Trump's hush money trial in which he was found guilty of 34 counts of falsifying documents. He is scheduled to be sentenced on July 11th, just days before the Republican National Convention is expected to name him as the official GOP presidential nominee. Melania's last public appearance was at her son Baron Trump's high school graduation in May. She was asked in March if she would return to.